Oh, sorry. Y'all waiting on me. I just got here with a little coffee. A little Irish cream. Maybe a whole lot of Irish cream and a little coffee because of how the day went. Mm. That's pretty good. Anyway, I hope y'all have your favorite beverage in front of you. If you hadn't figured it out by now, coffee is probably my favorite beverage. So today, I come home from work. You know how that goes. Everybody aggravates the hell out of you. You want to stab, I don't know, three or four or five people. And you don't you hold your composure and you get through the day. And you're like, oh, I just want to get home, have some coffee. But then you see the little pink package on the countertop. Oh, so we should have some Olight swag in there. Then I've got a couple of these little black boxes here. I just picked this one. We're going to see what it is. Okay. Nothing in here was given to me for free. I bought everything. I do not get a kickback and that's okay. So first let's open this Olight swag. That's always fun. Everybody likes them. And we're gonna do it with the microburst. I mean, I bragged about this little knife when I got the got it from a KC uh, with Tempest knives. But uh, the more I use it, the more I like it. So I've had a flat tire since I bought it. It's cutting, used to cut the tar, to patch the tire. It's cut the insulation and a water heater that went out. You know, it's just been a glorious week. I hope y'all's have been better than mine. All right, what we got, what we got. It looks like a patch. I love these patches. They fill up my drawer perfectly. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. A little Olight patch. It's pretty nice. I kind of like that. I might put it on something one day. Till now, till then, it goes in the drawer. micro usb cable you always can use an extra one of those so put that over in the drawer as well we got a flashlight and then an empty bag nothing so it looks like they delivered everything that i put in my little cart this is the olight center Let's open it up, take a look, and then we'll get to the black box. But you always got to look at a little Olight stuff. This is just a little bonus. Some of y'all or most of y'all might have already seen all this, so we're not going to make it in depth. Instructions. Container. Trash. Look, another charging cord. Drawer. I need a new drawer. Too many cables, too many stickers, too many patches. So the Olight Center in green. It's what you get for free if you've uh, bought too many Olights or have at least bought something. USB-C rechargeable. Okay, that'll work. So that's it, little keychain light. USB-C rechargeable. Mm, put that to the side for when I have a green carry. I like this Olay. Did a little aging on that. Patinaed it up. It turned out real nice. But anyway, I'm not going to go play it in the drawer. I'll get all behind. And, well, y'all don't want to see my behind. Once again, we got the microburst. This here is a Sativian ST103 folding knife. So, let's see what they give us. Hmm, a little microfiber cloth. Yeah, I probably won't keep that one. I got enough from other ones that are uh, a lot nicer. So, all that to the trash. And what we're left here with is a uh, G10 handle. Nice and pretty, it's in the jade. I like that on some of these because I can at least take the scales off later and maybe 
dye them to a different color that I like. It does have a nice texture. It's got a nice little rib here. Nice little GTM backspacer. Still lined. Pocket clip. Decent tension. These screws inside the pocket clip though, it's gonna give you a little snagging maybe. They're not flush and they're not inset. Hmm, pivot screw. No billboard and flipper. You got jimping on the front. It feels okay. I wish when they do the jimping on these flippers that they would just wrap them. I mean, that should be a giving on these knives. They should just wrap the jimping all the way around. Go ahead and make it nice for you. Let's just let you see it and then we'll test all the hardware. Okay, nice sheep foot blade. Where's that microfiber cloth that I wanted to throw away? There it is. Nice sheep foot blade. It's got a little oil on it. I actually kind of like this. It is a D2 blade still. Looking at the pictures, I wasn't sure I was going to like it. I don't like a lot of billboarding on the blade. Uh, they do have their Sativian logo there. And then on the other side here, they have the model number and the steel. The ST-103 with D2. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. It does have some snappy action. Sheep's foot blade. Oh, uh, that might be more of a worn clip. We'll go with sheep's foot. If you want it to be a worn clip, call it a worn clip. I'll have to get more in depth on the knowledge for that. But anyway, D2, let's see here. Your blade is going to be right there. Been too long today. Your overall length from the tip of the handle to the tip of the blade is about eight inches and right at an eight. So eight and eight. Your handle is going to be four inches, just over four and a quarter inches. Cutting edge is going to be just shy of three and a half, a millimeter or two shy. That's not bad. You do have this nice blade. It's nice and flat ground. I do like this swedge up here. Hope I called that by the right name. If not, let me know in the comments. That's the only way I'm going to get educated if I say something wrong, which I do a lot misspeak. Let me know. I'll try to correct it and I'll try to get my terminology on point a little better for you. It does have some jimping right here. And once again, this is one of them knives that I just don't think they put enough jimping on it. That little bit is not enough for me. I have big hands. I have fat hands. Um, that might be me, me bragging. I might have average hands, but I damn sure got fat hands. And that jimping stops right about there. It's still, it's grippy. And it'll keep you a firm purchase, and I think that'll be okay. Choke up there. Uh, you can pinch grip it fairly nicely. I like that. Your finger rest is good on the blade. Good ergonomics. Um, this is going to be a slicer. That's for sure. We're going to test it out. Don't have a piece of paper here. So what we're going to do is get Mr. Bill here and just see what she does. Well, that was not a, the best idea. There you go. So that's through an envelope and a bunch of other paper and it just sliced through it fairly easy. My technique's not real great. Let's see here. We'll try this center paperwork. Oh yeah, as you can tell, multiple pieces of paper. It slices right through, has no problem at all with it. Uh, like I said, overall 8.03 inches overall, blade length 3.46, about three and a half. And the handle's gonna run you about 4.56 inches, just over 
four and a half inches. The weight on this, I think, is going to be around four ounces, 4.05 ounces. Do have a D2 blade, a G10 handle. Great action. So, what makes this knife good? Well, for one, it's D2. I like D2. If you maintain it, you know, keep it oiled properly, um, keep it maintained, it's going to work for you. It's a hard working steel. And if this is heat treated right, which I've heard Steve N does a real good job with it, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. It is slicey. Um, it's got the G10 handles, which are very nice. It's got some nice action. Centering looks good. And they did all this for $27.99. Depending on which version you get, I think some may go up to $29.99, 30 bucks. So we're keeping it under the 30 bucks today, guys. I did that because I let y'all down. I wasn't here yesterday. Family crap got in the way. Had some maintenance and stuff to do. And then I felt like crap. But today, I went to work, beat that down, come home, got a big-ass cup of coffee, and getting on here and knocking this out for y'all. So let's see what we have on the outside here. We are looking, you know it, it's the NAF little screw. You always have to have a little screw in your life. That one spins way too much. It's like a sit and spin, and that's a different story for a different time. Pivot is T8. Look at there. I knew it. They were going to do it to me. Why can't everything be T8? If T6 is in the back and they come nice and tight, we're going to flip it over. Pocket clip screws are T6, nice and tight. Spacer screws, T6, nice and tight. Pivot screw, nice and tight. So, yes. $27.99. Get a better version or an upgraded version, I guess, with different materials. Maybe a coating on the blade, different color. For $29.99, there's four different options on that big retail store in the sky. Amazon. Two-day delivery. Be there in five. You can't beat it, boys and girls. Anyway, that is a beautiful knife, though. And for $27.99, I don't think you can go wrong. That's all you had to spend on a knife. I think this one would work well for you if you maintain the blade. It's a great utility shape. It's probably worth trying out if you're looking for a knife and you're looking in that price range. It is sturdy. It feels good in the hand. I am getting a little bit of hot spot from the pocket clip, but it's not bad. Maybe in extended use, you might, you know, have a little something. However, unless we'll give you a comparison. The only one I got on the table right now is the microburst. I just love it. It is going to be bigger than the microburst. But... That one's pretty, and this is a beast. So, yeah, it's worth trying out. If you're looking for a knife less than 30 bucks, I'd say, yeah, this one, uh, this is definitely a contender. It's very nice, very smooth. Uh, drop shut, flips right out. There is no, no issues at all. I thought I might slip off a little more with the uh, jimping not being wrapped around and not that aggressive, so... But no, it, it does a great job at that. Um, I'll probably carry it a little bit, tell y'all later in a video. I'll put together some knives that I've reviewed and kind of tell you how they performed while I carried them. And this is definitely going to be in that realm. There are one or two that, you know, after I carried, I didn't like. And so I'll probably get those together and put them out here and not really bash them, but tell you why I didn't prefer them. That might not be an issue for you and you might still like them. So, but for now, that's that. Cheers to you. I need another swallow because I still got things to do. Mmm. As always, that coffee is wonderful. The only thing that'll make it better is that you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button, you tell your family, you tell your friends, hell, you tell everybody on Sunday. Well, you know what visit is. Tell them. Pass it along. They got internet in those places, too. Get me some likes. Get me some subscribers. If you got something you would like to see and you don't want to spend your money on it yet, let me know. Keep it under 100 bucks. And we'll get it on the show. But until then, thank you all and have one hell of a day.